welcome to the Nine Mile Swamp. Nine Mile Swamp. How many miles? I can't play guitar and talk at the same time. Hi. Let's see you on here. Let's go back in again. Oh, yeah? On my page, I can't. Oh, I know mine. I just pinned. Never mind. I found it. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Okay, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so let's begin. <laughs> yes, we have songs. It is, it's, we're doing uh, several songs from the album Flaming June, which, which has a, I just have to say, I want to hold it up for you, close so you can see how beautiful that cover is. The painting is by uh, a, a fellow named Layton. Sir Frederick Layton, who painted this in the 1890s, and it, the painting actually lives in Havana, from what I understand. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, who would think, right? Who would think that a British pre-Raphaelite well, aesthetic he, era painting? I don't think he had the, the uh, Gretsch guitar in his painting. No, that was... Uh, yes. That was the magic of the magic of Photoshop. Yeah, Sally, Sally Lord, who uh, helps with the designs of our covers. So here's a song called The Hammer and the Cross. Will a song about promises kept ever ring through a heart? Now the oath breaker's song is the curse. Down the years, it's the the land
That song after the summer of reading Bernard Cornwell novels. <laughs> and um, I think they stuck somewhere in my subconscious and they, they, they outed themselves when it was least expected. See, we have, we have uh, Blaze. Hi, Blaze. And John Walsh. Hello, John Walsh. How are you? And I see. I read a Eddie. couple of your poems today. Very nice. Eddie Carloni is watching. Hey, Eddie and, Carloni. Oh, Roseanne. Hi, Roseanne. If you are watching, just drop us a line so we know that you're there. Hi, Roseanne. We'd love to hear from nice, you. Nice to see your name up. This is called One Foot Over the Starting Line, or Starting Start line. line. Yeah, here we go. Much better to let the young 
tell me we was destined to go far. Well, I went far down to the bottom of the lonely sawdust bars. But you know it doesn't matter if I've got one more song to show that we're one foot over the starting line, the other said to go. Yes, we're just one foot over the starting line, the other said to go. And it comes with yeah. a new ending. Yeah, uh, new endings are good. <laughs> they can be sometimes. Well, they make sense. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so uh, this next piece is a, is a song called The Tether of Life. <laughs> astounded and amazed that it seems perfect for the moment you're living in. And yet this was a poem uh, first published in 1968 by a Polish poet, and I'll be darned if I can pronounce his name, <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a, the old college try here, if I can give it the old college password, okay. Uh, Czeslaw Milosz, and um, and by the way, it was translated by uh, Czesław Milosz and also by Robert Pinsky, uh, who I believe was the, the first American poet laureate, right? And, and that was probably in the 
I think in the uh, maybe around the year 2000 oh, or so, he was a poet laureate. That that name, right? yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Pinsky was our first American poet laureate. We borrowed that tradition from England. Um, so uh, just remember when you hear this, this was written in 1968, not during our current uh, trumpled period. It's called Incantation. Human reason is beautiful and invincible. No bars, no barbed wire, no pulping of books, no sentence of banishment can prevail against it. It establishes the universal ideas and language and guides our hands so we write truth and justice with capital letters, lie and oppression with small. It puts what should be above things as they are, is an enemy of despair and a friend of hope. It does not know Jew from Greek or slave from master, giving us the estate of the world to manage. It saves austere and transparent phrases from the filthy discord of tortured words. It says everything is new under the sun, opens the congealed fist of the past. Beautiful and very young are philosophia and poetry, her ally in the service of the good. As late as yesterday, nature celebrated their birth. The news was brought to the mountains by a unicorn, and their friendship will be glorious. Their time has no limit. Their enemies have delivered themselves to destruction. Well, let's hope that last comes true. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that was once again, that was by Czeslaw Miloš, if I'm getting that anywhere near what it should be. <laughs> yeah, okay, and what do we have? Oh, switch guitar time. Switch guitars. So okay. um, we have listeners from Texas. We do. Terrific. Renee Benson and, and uh, Bob Wright. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bob, how are you? Renee, how are I'm you? I'm assuming how, Bob's watching, how nice, too. How nice of you to be here. Yeah. Hey, join us Stephen in the Ross. swamp. Stephen Ross again. Thank you, Hi, Stephen. Stephen, for joining us again and, and leaving a comment. I'm glad nice, you Nice to out. see you here, Stephen. A real pleasure. Sun Tortoise. Hey, Sun Tortoise, how are you? <laughs> Did I miss anything? Really nice to see you, too. Yes. Um, yeah, Stephen and Sun Tortoise are, are people who I, I dialogue with uh, on uh, Facebook on a fairly regular basis. Uh, Somebody wants to we, we again. sometimes, uh, we, we almost always agree, and if we disagree, we do it politely. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and I learned a lot from both of those guys. What was the name of that poem Renee Benson's asking? Incantation. Incantation. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Cheslaw is C-S-E-L-A-W. And Milos is M-I-L-O-S-Z. Uh, hey, well, this is kind of an up-tempo song. Okay, oh, I didn't even get ready because I was so distracted by everybody here. Answering. John Walsh wanted to know how to share it. John, there should be a share button right in the bottom. Maybe if you don't have it on the screen.
The, uh, this is the first song on the uh, Flaming June album, and uh, this song is uh, done in memory of the great Ray Charles. This is called Same Jack. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta do that again. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One.
song I want to write a jazzy tune and the hook and those are like the English majors out there where I see you I see you Renee and Bob English majors <laughs> I may have noticed that the uh, the hook to the song is in iambic pentameter and it's it's perfect meter and, and, and I never thought of that of course I was trying you know write a samba for crying out loud so here's a song called over the mountain and this is an old wambler song uh, we used to do when we used to do this song. You'll hear the beginning. The beginning has some like, crashed chords and a kind of a cadence in it. And, uh, and we used to play this when we played in places that were like theaters. Uh, we would we would have the lights crash in the beginning. So if you want to imagine <laughs> that, uh, just go ahead. Are you ready, darling? I am. Here we go. Over the mountain. Am I ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
lock on your lips. These words were so hip. <laughs> You've got no one to talk to. What a pleasure yes. it's been playing for you tonight. We hope to see you next Sunday. Tell your friends. Yeah, tell your friends. Tell your friends. And speaking of friends, let's let's talk, let's up talk some about of our, our friends. friends. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, who's on Sunday? On Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, two o'clock. You can go on Facebook and hear Joe Giglio, and you can go to his um, YouTube page also and subscribe so, because he's trying to get a lot of viewers so he can. Um, uh, Post live shows right. from YouTube. Yeah. Um, we could use it. It's a thousand people. A thousand, yeah. If you get a thousand people, you can play live on YouTube. I, and and I think it's to to broadcast it to other devices or something like that. I don't know. I don't understand all that stuff. But right. Joe Giglio does. So go on his page, <laughs> check him out. He's great to listen to in the afternoons. Um, Craig Ellis. Craig Ellis is on Tuesday Tuesdays nights at also seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. But he's not on Facebook. He's on streetjelly.com. And there are lots of other people. Margie Zintz. Margie. Margie um, had been doing Mondays in the, in the um, early evening or late afternoon. Um, so you can check out her on Facebook. Um, and there are a lot of other people who do live shows. People are doing in-person shows, too. We're, right. we're not, not doing that yet. But and if you're uh, one of them, please let us know. Yeah, and we'll, we, we'll, will we'll, you know, we will also you. plug you as well. Yes. Um, so I guess that's it. We're I done until next week. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. If you want to purchase an actual CD like Flaming Jew, you can go to our website, kirkhenry.com or dognoseband.com. Um, and it's also, the CDs are also available digitally on iTunes and the usual places. But we are so grateful that you could join us. Thank you so much. Stay safe. And thanks for leaving us comments, too. We really do appreciate that. Appreciate fine friends, those we have.